How's it going, y'all? It is your awesome buddy Baytown. So it's been brought to my attention in the comment section of a lot of my videos and my live stream as well that y'all were looking for a Call of Duty World War II sniper class setup. Now, I didn't want to just do some normal old setup, you know, go into a game and be like, hey, this is what you use here and here, here you go slap something together and then give it to you. No, I actually wanted to go in depth, break everything down for you, and give you a a good idea of what class setup you should use and also the good kill zones for each sniper rifle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with the divisions. Hopefully you enjoy and let's get into the rest of this video. The Mountain Division is a pretty good division. It's probably one of my most favorite divisions, so that's why I started off with it in the beginning. So the first thing that you'll notice is you get Sniper Shooter. Basically what that allows you to do is when you're trying to get those long range shots in or even up close and you just want to hold your breath in, that's going to allow you to do that. This is the only division that's going to allow you to do that. Then we have Always Invisible to Enemy Recon Aircraft, Hidden to Player Controlled Streaks, and then Silent Movement. So basically, if you want to stay off the minimap, that way no one can hit you with score streaks. If you want to be completely silent, and if you want to pick off enemies from long distances and be able to hold your breath, this is going to be the class division for you. Now you can actually prestige this once and get the Car 98. And then from there, you can prestige these up to four times. You can prestige all your divisions up to four times. The Airborne Division is another one of my favorite divisions. In this division, you get the SMG Suppressor, Sprint for Longer Distances, Climb Over Obstacles Faster, Increased Sprint Movement. Now, what I... What I kind of noticed later on throughout the game is I was not able to apply a suppressor to my SMG within within the attachments area and I didn't understand that so I actually had to get on YouTube and find out that you actually have to hit left on the d-pad and then you can apply a suppressor to your weapon that way that being said airborne is the only division that's going to allow you to apply a suppressor to your weapon and it's only going to be an SMG so if you want to be able to move faster get through obstacles faster and sprint for longer then this is going to help you out quite a bit this is like a running gun class and it's going to help you out a lot now you can use this when you're sniping but keep in mind that with this with with this type of division, you cannot hold your breath in. That is for the mountain division only. So if you're trying to pick someone off from a very long distance and you need to hold your breath in, you're not going to be able to. That's the only drawback to it. But it is a very fast, maneuverable division. So if you're going to try and play pretty aggressive, this is probably going to be one of your best divisions for you. Because you're going to be able to move faster, you're going to be able to get over obstacles faster. So when it comes to being more aggressive, this is going to help you out quite a bit. Infantry is another division that I really like to use. And I'm pretty sure you can quickly see why. Well, first off, it does give you a rifle bayonet. Now, I don't actually use that. I've accidentally used it like twice. I don't know how I... I just accidentally stabbed someone with a bayonet and I didn't even mean to but it happened but so you get rifle bayonet additional primary attachments and if you throw on primed which gives you an extra attachment and also when someone hits you fires at you whatever you flinch less but you get an extra attachment so actually you you can throw on four attachments when you're running the infantry division 
Then also you get extra magazines. So that's going to give you more ammo, especially if you're going for for those sniper kill feeds, kill chains, anything like that, or you just don't like running out of ammo. Also, move significantly faster while aiming down sights. Now, some people, this might actually help them. In my opinion, when it comes to sniping, it does hinder you a little bit because sometimes you'll be on target and then since you're moving a little bit faster it's going to cause you to go off your target a little bit i've had that happen so you just kind of have to compensate for that and get used to it but once you do this is just a really good division to be playing with and i really think you'll enjoy it let's get to the next division the armored division, now this is going to be something that's going to help you out when you're playing those objective based games where people are throwing things at you like tacticals and lethals, things of that nature. So what the armored division gives you is an LMG bipod, which I have not used an LMG in this game at all, so I don't know how they work. I don't even know how to apply, a, apply the bipod or anything like that. So, also you have immune to shell shock and tactical equipment. Then you take less fire damage and then also take significantly less explosive damage. And then also you can put on hunker with that from the basic training and that will help you out quite a bit. And I really like this division because say, say I'm playing Domination and... I know for a fact in Domination, you need to hold down B. B is like the number one flag to hold down if you're going to try and win. So when I'm sitting here and I'm trying to snipe and I'm trying to hold down B, people are constantly throwing things at me. So if you put on the armor division, this is going to help you out quite a bit when they start throwing tacticals and lethals at you, trying to get you off of that B flag. So it's going to help you out significantly. In this video, I'll be going over two of the main sniper rifles that I use. The M1903, or the Springfield as everyone likes to call it, or the Car 98 k So the M1903 is a standard issue bolt-action sniper rifle delivering a generous one-shot kill zone. Also, just to let you know, with any sniper rifle, if you lay prone, it will increase the stability of your sniper rifle. So I did some testing with this weapon with a with a good friend of mine and a subscriber by the name of Vortex. We went into private match and we did some testing. For a headshot it's going to be one shot to the head, one shot to the hand, two shots to the kneecap, and two shots to the feet with this weapon. And when you put on the four times zoom, pretty much the same thing there. Other than the fact that you're getting less distance when it comes to kill zones, everything's the same other than your distance being reduced. The Cardani AK is yet again another standard issued bolt action sniper rifle that it is well delivering a generous one shot kill zone also with a sniper rifle laying prone will increase stability now what we did find out is headshot of course that's a one shot kill the torso one shot kill hands two shots to kill kneecaps two shots to kill and then foot two shots to kill now this all stays the same when you put on the four times scope except for the hand I don't know why but for some reason when you put on the four times scope on the car 98k and you shoot someone in the hand it is a one shot kill I don't understand it but it is so there you have it that's pretty much what you're going to be looking for when you're setting up your sniper rifles and let's just go ahead and get into the next segment here Okay, before I actually end this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you my class setup and what I actually use in-game. So, as you can see, I used a Mountain Division. 
And this is going to be for my long range stealth class, if you will. So we have the Mountain Division. I'm using the M1903 Faithful, which is a pretty good looking weapon, as you can tell. I, I really like it. It's got like a rustic look to it. So, so we're running that. We're running Ballistic Calibration. Then we're going to be using the Extended Mags. And the Ballistic Calibration, as you can see, basically what that does is reduces sway. Then, of course, Extended Mags gives me extra, extra bullets. Then, for the basic training, we're using Scoped. And what Scoped does, while aiming down sights, have less idle sway and move faster. So, it's going to help you when you're trying to pick off those long-range targets. Then, we have, for a secondary, the 1911 with... I believe it's called head high caliber sorry about that high caliber and then we're using an s mine 44 and what i use the s mine 44 for is basically to put somewhere not not close where people are going to know where i'm at but entrances things like that to keep people either away from me because sometimes people will find out where you're at and they'll come and they'll try to take you out and if you have that there it's a good way to protect you and also you can put it on objectives when you're helping out your team so as you see here I'm running infantry and we're using the M1903 primary ranger and as as you can see like I stated earlier in the video the additional primary attachment and then on top of that when you run primed which additional primary attachment and flinch less when shot I can now run four attachments so I've got the the ballistics calibration the FMJ rapid fire and extended mag and of course I'm running the 1911 with high caliber and I'm using smoke grenade for this one and I like to run Smoke Grenade, especially when I'm trying to play like objective-based game modes because it helps me out as well as my team. Then we have Airborne, the Airborne Division. This is pretty good when you're playing like Capture the Flag or you're, you're playing Domination and you're trying to run from flag to flag or you're playing Headquarters. Is it Headquarters or Hardpoint? Either one of those. So I'm running the Car 98 for that one because I'm going to be moving around a lot. This one, when I'm moving around a lot, it tends to act a lot better than the M1903. And of course, for this one, we're running the 4x Optic, Full Metal Jacket, and then Rapid Fire. Then we're going to be running Basic Training right here. I should actually have this on there. That's what I always run. And then, of course, my smoke grenade. Now, the only time this will ever change for your airborne division is if you're playing free-for-all. Then you're going to want to come down and you're going to want to put on inconspicuous. That's what you're going to need to run. Because what that does is quieter movement and walking fast while crouched. That's going to help you out quite a bit when you're playing free-for-all because what happens is people tend to hear you a lot in this game because your feet are so loud and the last we have is armored the armored division and of course again we're using the car 98k and then we're using the four time optic full metal jacket and then rapid fire now the reason I'm running the car 98k is once again it's a lighter rifle and I'll be on B, so I'm going to need a 4x optic, optic scope. That way, I can hold everything down on the B flag in close range. Or whatever, whatever else that I'm trying to hold down. Now, I don't have it unlocked yet, but what I'll be putting on next is Hunker on top of that. 
And there you have it for your armored class setup. This is going to help you out a lot when you're playing those objective based game modes and you're that guy that's going to be in the middle holding it down. I, I cannot express, express this enough that holding down B flag is key when you're playing domination. And with this class, you're going to be able to do it. That pretty much sums up the rest of the video. If y'all have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. If there's any other things that you would like me to do as far as a video, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe if I miss something, let me know. Or you just have a question, trust me, I'll answer it or I'll make a video on it if you need to. As always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you've been subscribed, thanks so much for the support. Baytown Cowboy 85, over and out.